What's good everybody, Valley here once again, and welcome back to the Messy Workbench, and this time I've got the Tacticade kit from Zero One Tech. It is a full sort of body kit for the Barricade and Stockade, because they just don't get enough love. And apparently Zero One Tech agrees with me in the fact that it doesn't get enough love, because everything's all stripes and everything nowadays, especially with Worker bringing out all those different real steel body kits and such for the Strife. But yeah. This is a full body kit for the barricade, as I've said before. And I'm going to start from the front and work my way back, just to kind of explain what's going on with it. Starting at the front, you've got a nerf and strike attachment point for the barrel. You can swap this out for whatever. Um, mine's just a bit tight right now. But you can stick on recon barrels, su suppressors. He has edited the files and updated them so they can actually take this now, which mine's a bit tight because this is an earlier version, it's slightly too large, which it fits some barrels, but not every barrel, if you know what I mean. But he's edited that and he's fixed it and everything, and he has other types of barrels. He has like a snub barrel and everything. He has ones that can hold just regular nerf barrel material, so you can have a worker suppressor or something similar. Going back to the top here, you've got full Picatinny which is just standard 20 millimeter Picatinny or anything. It can hold whatever you want. Below that is a second rail, which is good for things like foregrips and stuff. He has a f one or two different foregrips for it. He has ones like a strap that you can hold on to like some old school SMGs. On the side, there are side rails, which fit on both sides. Same model, just flipped. And coming to the battery box, it is quite large. It replaces the battery cover for the original battery box you can see here with an m3 screw and there's plenty of room in here for things like a nanotech 1.3 or even a little bit larger as long as it's about this thick and i can just plug this in with the xt60 that i have installed and it has enough room to fit this 1.3 3s comfortably and this thing is quite ingeniously designed because it uses captive nuts with this plate here to hold it in place, which I thought was quite nice. He didn't send me any sort of instructions for it, but I managed to figure it out just because it seemed to make sense to me. But yeah, same with thumbscrew. Captive nut to help keep the thumbs printed thumbscrew in place, which I really like that design. I'm going to have to print myself a couple more of these because since they're an M3 screw, they'll fit pretty much anything as long as you put long enough of a machine screw in there. Going to the top of the battery box, you've got a spot for a voltmeter. I forget the exact ones that he uses, but you can throw whatever in there. The foam blast ones might fit, I'm not sure, I'll have to try later. And moving over to the side here is a spot for a quick release sling point, which you can just click in there and it holds in securely enough. I didn't have that fully clicked in. And you just, there we go. And that will hold quite securely. which is a nice little addition. Nothing in terms of the stock on here, except for this uh, Cassian Andor stock that I like using with it because the colors match pretty well. But other than that, he does have a buffer tube stock that goes on like mil spec buffer tubes, I believe, that has a Picatinny on each side of it. And he has dart holders that can hold 10 darts a piece. So you can have two full reloads on your stock if you really wanted to. And that being said, you could stick that dart holder on the sides here, but that would kind of get in the way of the loading. One thing I would like to see in the future is like a swap hot swappable drum, but that is a little bit difficult because in the past people have had to do that by basically making the whole blaster pull apart, you, like a drawer slider or whatever, and being able to swap it in with the pins and such. But yeah, I have a Kelly cage in here right now with Krakens and Blaster Parch flywheels. I've got this set about mid crush. And instead of going with the rev trigger that he actually has now, I just used a latching push button switch that I can make light up if I really wanted to. I just completely got rid of that switch there. It now acts as only a trigger safety, <laughs> which is kind of neat having a, a safety on your thumb, but yeah. It performs quite well, I mean. 
With this mid crush cage and the blaster parts wheels, I was getting around 120-ish, 130-ish, you know, HVZ levels, which I am quite happy with. But yeah, I will drop a link down below to where you can get this kit from him. He's actually almost ready to be able to ship to the US, which is quite good. And I'm excited for that because more options for like parts and stuff for the barricade is good, <laughs> in my opinion. And I've already seen where someone has actually got one of these printed in black and put it on a gear up barricade, which looks brilliant. And I love that because black and orange is quite a nice combo, especially one with like that kind of striping and everything. And I really like it. But as ever, links down below to where you can get this, as well as my Patreon and my Instagram and such, if you want to follow me there. And uh, yeah, my name is Valor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.